In the previous video, we discussed about the top 8 vaccines for COVID-19. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine versus the Moderna vaccine. First of all, a simple note. Why we are comparing these two vaccines? It's because both these vaccines are mRNA based vaccines and these were the first two vaccines that ran the clinical trials for SARS-CoV-2. And now we will see what are the core differences between these two vaccines. First we have the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine. It's named as BNT162B2 vaccine. And Moderna vaccine is named as mRNA1273 vaccine. Then we see what type of vaccine are these. Both Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are mRNA based vaccines. That means a modified mRNA is made which incorporates a specific sequence of RNA from viral genome that encodes specific protein like in this case the mRNA codes for spike protein of SARS-CoV-2. So when we get the vaccine shot, the mRNA is taken up by the host cell where this mRNA is translated into S protein and this S protein being the foreign protein for our body is taken up by the antigen presenting cells where this S protein is fragmented into small peptides which are plagued by the cell in order to mediate the immune response which ultimately leads to the production of antibodies against this S protein of SARS-CoV-2. Now let's see what is the efficacy of these vaccines. The Pfizer BioNTech vaccine has got the 95% efficacy whereas the Moderna vaccine has got 94.5% efficacy. Both these vaccines are administrated in two doses. The Pfizer two doses are to be administrated 21 days apart, whereas Moderna two doses are administrated 28 days apart. Now, which age group can have these vaccines? The Pfizer is for 16 years old and up, and Moderna vaccine is for 18 years old and up. Further, let's see which variants are getting targeted by these vaccines. The Pfizer BioNTech vaccine works against variants like B.1.1.7 variant, which is also called as UK variant. It works against B.1.526 variant, and it also works against the Brazilian variant, that's P.1 variant. But it must be noted here, it shows the reduced efficacy against South African variant, which is the B.1.351 variant. Although some researchers are there which shows good efficacy of Pfizer vaccine against the South African variant. Then we have got the another variant which is the B.1.617 variant which has wreaked havoc in India as it predominates here in India. But this variant can be found in other countries too. And against this variant the Pfizer shows least efficacy. About 67% antibodies were less potent against the B.1.617 variant. Whereas on the other hand, Moderna vaccine also works against UK variant, it works against B.1.526 variant and uh, then it shows reduced efficacy against B.1.351 variant which is the South African variant and against P.1 that is the Brazilian variant, we have not enough data available yet to put forward its efficacy. And then we have the B.1.617 variant that is predominant in India. Just like Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna vaccine also does not show any efficacy for this very variant. So as of now till date, the new variants are least affected by these mRNA vaccines. So we need to update these vaccines in order to make them work against variants of concern to contain the COVID-19. And at last, when we talk about the storage temperatures of these vaccines, the Pfizer vaccine is to be stored at minus 97 degree Fahrenheit or you can say the minus 70 degree Celsius. Whereas the Moderna vaccine is to be stored at minus 4 degree Fahrenheit aka minus 20 degree Celsius. So these are the major differences between Pfizer and Moderna vaccine. But the working remains the same since both are RNA based vaccines that do for a specific protein that's S protein, spike protein of SARS-CoV-2. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.